Hi, welcome to Coin Op Store. Today I'm going to be showing you our Deluxe Cocktail Arcade. This is a black Deluxe Cocktail Arcade. It is shown with an optional base. This base is removable, so the game is freestanding. It just sits on the base. The base is recessed, that the game can't slide off the base. The base is available during checkout. And like I said, it is removable. So when this game shows up to your home, it's going to be sitting on a pallet. It's going to be wrapped in cardboard, then saran wrap. It'll then be tension strapped down to the pallet. During the receiving process, you're going to unwrap the game to make sure that it arrived in perfect condition, which it should. Once you unwrap it, you're going to find a set of keys and a power cord. On this side of the cabinet, you're going to notice that there is a four direction joystick. There are joysticks on both sides of the cabinet. You can actually upgrade those red ball top four direction joysticks to eight direction joysticks if you want to buy any licensed JAMA boards that come with more advanced games that require diagonal movement. In addition, this game has a trackball. On the top of the cabinet, you're going to see there's a piece of clear tempered glass. Tempered glass is important. You want to avoid plexiglass if possible. It has a tendency to fade and it is not very scratch resistant. There are four clips that hold this glass in place. Each clip has two Phillips screws. It's very easy to remove this glass top if you'd like. If you want to put pictures of your kids under the glass or buy your own stickers. Underneath the glass, there's a thin veneer made of vinyl that we call an underlay. In addition, there's a bezel, which is a piece of black plastic that goes around the monitor that kind of frames the monitor in place. On the front of the machine, there's a coin door. This is a free play machine. There is no coin mechanism inside. If you wanted to open the top of the cabinet to install your own game board, inside the machine, there are two latches. One is here, one is here. They are cookie jar latches. So by using the key to open up the machine, inside, reach your arm through, pop those latches, open up the hood. Inside, you're gonna see a 24 inch LED monitor. This is a wide viewing angle monitor, which means you can basically view it as it's laid down flat from any angle. If you do not get a wide viewing angle monitor, it's kind of like a laptop when you view it from too extreme an angle, it tends to wash out or become difficult to see. And so a wide viewing angle monitor just means that the monitor is visible from 178 degrees. You shouldn't have any problems viewing the screen no matter where you're standing around the game. So inside you're gonna find a few things. That is a power supply. These are speakers. This is a stereo amplifier. When this game is plugged in, that will be blinking red and blue. Volume, bass, treble, and balance. This is the JAMA harness. So JAMA is a programming language. It's no different than saying DVD. And so this is a JAMA player. If you wanted to buy a JAMA board, you're more than welcome to go on eBay or Amazon and you can find some officially licensed JAMA boards to plug into this machine. So this is already plugged in, but basically when you get a board, on one side of the board, there's going to be teeth like this. It's kind of the same thing you would find on a Nintendo game. If you remember back in the day, if the Nintendo game didn't work, you'd have to blow inside the cartridge. This is what you'd be blowing on. And so on a JAMA board, there's going to be a set of three pins. There will be a little space, and then there will be more pins. On the harness, you're going to see there are three pins, a space, and some more pins. And so you're going to want to line up this. And you're going to gently shove that into this. You'll notice there's some teeth. It's kind of an opening. It's a little hard to film and do this, but basically this would push into this. In addition, you're going to have a VGA cable coming from the monitor. There will be a little spot on the board for you to plug the VGA cable in. Last but not least, there's going to be a space on the board for the trackballs if you have bought a game that requires a trackball. It's kind of like a USB port that plugs right into the board. Please be sure that the game is powered off when you're doing this, but once you plug in the board, the VGA cable, and the trackballs, you can close the top of the game by pressing that down. On the back of the cabinet, there's a standard plug-in. Might be a little hard to see, but down there is where the machine plugs in. The cable that you get is a standard three-prong cable. It looks just like the cable that you'd have for your laptop. The female end plugs into the machine, the male end plugs into your wall. Standard 110 volt outlet, nothing fancy. Right where it plugs in, there is an on off switch. The circle down is off, the line down is on. Turn the machine on and enjoy. If you plan on converting this to Xbox, there's a different video where we'll show you how to do that, but the fundamental concept is the same. We sell an adapter that serves as a go-between 
between the jam harness and your Xbox, which allow you to play some of the Xbox games through the controls. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, 888-378-9416. For this cabinet, we have three different color options. We have black, cherry, and walnut. For the base, the only color that we have is black. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is a chrome adjustable swivel stool. So the stool is round and it has a piston. So the stool can elevate up to 22 inches and it can drop down to 14 inches. Excuse me, 20 inches high, not 22. So right now you can see the stool is up at its highest point. Basically with the stand, this game is designed to be played while standing. It is 40 inches high on the base. Off the base, the game is 28 inches high. 